here's what I'm learning. Want to make real money? Money is energy. Like everything else. But we're not taught that. We have been told that, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. But yeah, it does, spiritually. <laughs> I have worked so hard at breaking through the mindset around money. And guess what? I'm going to ask you this question. You'll know where you stand right away. Stay with me. Here we go. If money was a person, who would it be to you? Money was a person, who would it be? I'll give you a second. This is profound because right away for me, it was like, came up like, uh, my dad and business and, and yucky. It was yucky. And I asked so many other people and someone said, um, uh, what, Musk or Bill Gates or the best answer. This is the best answer. Ready for this? My one friend who is my soul sister also took a, a, a long, hard minute, you know, to really be like, hmm, that's a good question. What, what is it to, to me? And she, she processed and she goes, I don't know why I'm saying this. And it was so amazing because she's not necessarily like religious or um, has belief for sure, but goes, I don't know why I'm saying this, but Jesus, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. But we've been taught and conditioned to get, because the, ma the matrix is made of like, I was taught in social work five, I think there's eight of them now that truly run everything, running it. <laughs> However, once I started breaking through, Join me on this little chat. I can share, I can share because I'm a multi-millionaire. I can share, I can share because I'm a multi-millionaire. <gasps> How about that? Imagine if all of us beautiful souls who truly understood the meaning of authentic connections, equal energy exchanges, services that actually helped humanity wouldn't that be the new world we would want to live in? We need to do that for each other. So how this all came for me, I was started going, I don't want to do a jobby job anymore. And so what else do you do? So it was like, okay, sell stuff. So it started with me sell, just selling some of my stuff, realizing, okay, maybe. Yeah. So then I started helping artists and trying to help promote and their, sell their stuff. Now all of a sudden I'm in a whole new world. I didn't even know, okay? that the terms for things was like, I'm doing marketing. I didn't know that. I didn't know um, that what I was doing was like stepping outside of the box and becoming the word was entrepreneur, which I couldn't even say at the beginning. I'm not even kidding. I had to keep looking back at it to write it. And because again, I'm not attached and I hope you're not either to words, to the context, to the, ah, gotta break free from all of that because then you're just in the vibration. What I love, is that in every sales exchange, I have met someone new. I know that it's divine because no one crosses your path with, without it being a reason, a charted reason. And if that's the case, then these are always, and here's the thing, I wouldn't and couldn't stand behind anything unless I love what it is that I'm selling. That's the difference. They don't care what they're selling. It's going to break in two minutes and it's not really going to serve you. They don't get major. They took your money. And so then they also made us believe that everything outside of them is a scam. See how quickly they jumped on that when everyone started to get, get creative and be like, oh, I'm going to try and do my own thing. And then they turned us against each other going like, ooh, they paid people to do that. Anyways, we're going to stay focused on the dream here that we truly can break free from all of this if we just realize that we have to come up with something that truly is our passion that's going to help humanity and offer it as a service for offer it as a product offer it and yes it's it takes a lot of work to because you know disney ain't gonna necessarily buy you but it's it's breaking through and knowing that you're gonna reach the right ones and that when we do, then we're going to start having these incredible exchanges of, for more than just the thing. 
it's it's going to be about a, a, a healthy soulful exchange here's what i'm i'm seeing i know we're all feeling this shift it's so beautiful because i'm meeting strangers and we're having these authentic connections just through a thing but it's deeper than that each of the people that have come in the last couple of days um started talking about how one of the one of the ladies said oh my gosh i'm just in a place in my life where i just like so want to get rid of things and i'm like yep we're purging and she's like you know i'm just i want and she takes a moment she goes relationships i go yeah connections like this right she's like yeah so we all do and and it's time for us to start doing that finding a way to interact if we don't offer each other things, then how can we interact? Because notice, I was saying this the other day with the, with someone. Where did all the like? We used to go dancing. Oh yeah, that was another another customer. Beautiful soul. She starts to talk about how, you know, she misses connection too, and she wanted, you know, she, where where can we go dancing? Where can we connect with people? Why is it all online and and it's not and it's just making us connect with somebody only on a superficial level like oh they look good there's no depth no depth to that if you want a real connection it's got to be more than judging the book by the cover anyway i hope that resonates leave a comment or a question if this is kicking in here so back to money okay how do you so now when you start to realize oh my gosh there's all these things i could do like I was going and helping people with their plants and I was selling their stuff for them and doing all, like creating a book which I'm now published the, and you can find me on Amazon my links in the description of a wellness planner because I was doing healing and then I started offering healing services and you, there's a I don't have my calendar active but I do do one-on-ones if you want to do a zoom and you know these are amazing connections and it's and it brings it so what's what's difficult when you start to break outside of the box is that and from experience i'll tell you leaving the jobby job because they got us conditioned with you can work this many days and have this much money and so then your life revolves around that number and you put a roof that's a cap that's it there's there it is and you pretend you're happy with it when I realized, break the roof, there's no roof, take the roof off and realize, wait a minute, if I did, I started going, uh, reading so many books, seven streams of income, if I could bring in seven different streams, who knows what I could do? And so then I realized reading books and reading books, an entrepreneur, that's the risk. You, you don't know if you're always going to make whatever amount, but there's no limit. So then there were some months where like 10 grand easy, you know, sometimes it's like two grand, then it's like 200 or it's two, like, it's always changing, but you start to learn like absolutely. And people start to, if you're within a, a community, if you're, you're connecting and um, putting out like Facebook messages and stuff, it was like, you start to attract the right ones. And people are like, Hey, then can you do that? That's what started happening. People would call and say like, hey, could you do this? Could you do that? And I was like, yeah, I could. Well, what do you charge? I'm like, I don't even know. <laughs> right? So then you have to learn like now the business part of it. And I was like, eh. I had to get rid of all the blocks around business. What does that even mean? Now I realize there's so many beautiful souls out there taking business to a new level because now it's genuine genuinely for the greater good of everyone involved and I bring up all of the time Sears back in the day we had a store called Sears which offered a variety of things that we knew were quality you could buy something there and it lasted for 10 years then what did they do went well that don't make us enough money fast enough if we make stuff break they have to keep coming hurry up and buy hurry up and buy and what did we all do? Fell into it and hurry up and buy. Instead of like, why can't, why couldn't we make things that last? Right? What happened to reduce, reuse, recycle? I <laughs> just like, <laughs> what happened? Anyhow, we can see it now, right? We can see how they corrupted all of those terms, those contexts, those things, to make you think that it's just too big of a risk to step outside of the box. Don't try and do anything by yourself. And all of these things like 
There's so many, if you created a course, that's, these are real things. You can, you can take who and what you are and put it into a package and, and just get it out there. It's a long process to learn how, but it is possible. I'm telling you right now from experience, it is possible. And I feel with all my heart that this is kind of where we're going, where everyone wants every day to wake up and love your life. How do you do that? By waking up and being able like, what do I feel like doing today? I'm gonna write a book, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dance, I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create something, I'm gonna take this course, I'm gonna read that book, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some research on this and really get excited about what could I do? You know, that's what we wanna do. Not necessarily like the same, wake up at the same time, have breakfast and lunch and supper and you come home at the same time and then you sit in front of the screen and you spend that many hours doing that and then you go to bed and you do it again. And then you have a day off and you're like, well, I have to reset everything. So you're working at just getting the cycle ready again for the hamster wheel <laughs> to turn. <laughs> Everyone's feeling not okay with that anymore. I know it, unless you love what you're doing, God bless. Everyone has their own path. I'm just sharing my experience and hope that it resonates. And if it does, thank you. Leave a comment. Leave a question. Please subscribe and, and join the Soul Tribe. Let's Together We Rise. Share with me where you're at on your journey. And if you're starting to realize there are other ways to make a, like a life. Because they get us too busy making a living that we forget to make a life. And yes, you can sustain yourself doing lots of creative things if, big one here, if you can accept a minimalist lifestyle, which means look around, look around you, go in the closets, go in the basement, go in that tub that you haven't opened that's in a closet for the longest, the shed, the, what do you got there? What do you got there? You probably forgot about it. The more room we have, we fill it with more stuff. And if you sold all of that, I wonder how much money you're sitting on going, I can't do that. I can't take that. I can't buy that course. I can't buy that book. Uh, I would love to, but, but, but. Yeah, you can break outside of the box and go like, hey, wait a minute. Again, I'm going to go full circle back to how this all started for me was I just sold. And what was beautiful is once I sold everything in my place, it was empty. It was a clean slate. It was so energetically profound how that shifted everything for me. Because in that moment, you let go of all those attachments. Because again, think about it. Why? I question everything. Like, who said? Why do we even do that? Okay? My favorite question. I, I always am saying, who said that? Why? I want to talk to them because I have a different opinion. Just in a pinch. Just what I think I know today until I learn something new tomorrow. Stay with me. Stay with me. Together we'll rise. <laughs> what I'm like, oh, I, I don't even know what I was saying though. But, you know, we have a breakthrough happening here for us. That we don't have to follow anything. Yeah, it's like who said, who said. That's where it was. Because we... When I got everything out of the place, I went, why do we all have the couch and the TV and that you can't go into anyone's house and not expect for it to, in essence, be the same, maybe different colors, different pattern, different, but what happened when you were a kid? Didn't I personally change my room all the time, all the time, I would take everything out and I would put it all in different, a different way, probably every week or so. And I think that's really important that we remember change is the only thing that's consistent, that we can count on. It's going to happen. Like the leaves changing right now, reminding us that it's okay, it's okay to change, let things fall away, let it go. The second you do, you're making room for more. And it's going to be better. Because all that stuff ain't, hold, it's just holding space. It's holding your energy. It's just holding space that leaves no room for you to grow. So, starts there, realizing, okay, I can sell stuff. Like, I could make a course right now on how to utilize Marketplace and, per, like, really successful. 
it just takes time and I'll tell you there is someone on YouTube who will teach you everything God bless all of the creators out there taking what they know and sharing it yay please don't watch um, the nonsense They've, there's lots of that too and it is a choice so if you do want to get out of them and make the money that serves you that fulfills you then just start making the time to take the time to figure out how and it's possible you could start with a Google search saying like how can I make a, a side gig extra money blah, blah. you'll have so many there's so many ideas and I've done all of the, the not all of them but I've experienced you know the MLMs and the, the, it's all real 100% but um, and there there is no you couldn't you can do whatever you want it's just do you want to take the time and be a part of a, it's really for each different type of person like with that you'd have to be part of a community and you'd have to kind of you want to be in it for a long term because there there are ways for you all to like support each other and the communal part of it fantastic can you stand behind the products the products were all beautiful healthy nutritional but there was a lot in it that was like for weight loss or different and I couldn't stand behind that because I wasn't going to be able to practice and know it and I wanted to like truly only stand behind everything that is like I authentically have tried tested true believe in and stand behind with my values so but again just learning experiences I was like it was a, a beautiful friend a soul like that that I knew we connected and uh, what an experience and then again everything for a reason because it taught me like wait a minute there's ways to make money online well how do I do that Google <laughs> YouTube and find out how and then take the next step like with something intrigues you try it try it how do you know anything unless you try we have to just give ourselves permission to try and not get stuck believing that you're safe because you have a jobby job or that you know you know what to expect tomorrow that's and the whole time the inner you is screaming for something more and and you'll fulfill it by what they taught you which is I'm gonna go buy something <laughs> and put it in your closet <laughs> <laughs> much love and light to us all as we rise and shine it's time time is now you got this thanks for joining me much love